into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Hooker was enjoying the peak of his popularity. I had the opportunity to meet John Lee Hooker once, and um, I was introduced to him by a famous coachman who's legendary Detroit blues disc jockey. He walks up and says, Johnny, I want you to meet Robert Jones. He uh, plays, uh, not only does he play your stuff on the radio, he's a disc jockey, but he also plays uh, music. He play, he's a musician. John Lee Hooker is sitting between two blinds. Uh, he had some obnoxious looking red liquid in a glass. Uh, I can only guess what that was. Had on his dark glasses and his socks with the stars in them. And uh, he looks up at me, pulls the glasses down about half mass and says, you play my shit. In the meantime, the Detroit blues scene gradually transformed. Blues music began to migrate from the inner city to more intimate locales, such as Ann Arbor and Pontiac. Hastings Street was replaced by the Chrysler Expressway. Record stores and nightclubs were torn down in exchange for more traffic lanes and bigger factories. It was to make it convenient more to get out of town than uh, and, and to service people at the other end of the expressways than um, any kind of positive thing in, in relation to the, to the community. And again, it, the uh, ultimate result was that it broke up of a stable community. If we had kept Hastings Street, we would have had a district that we could have been very proud of, and like State Street in Chicago and Beale Street in Memphis. Uh, we would have had a neighborhood with a lot of blues bars. You had a highway that came in and, and, and basically took money, population, businesses right out of the city and set them up outside of the city so that it effectively um, helped to destroy the downtown and helped to destroy a lot of different neighborhoods. On June 21, 2001, John Lee Hooker passed away in his sleep. You'd think I led a very sad and hollow life, Hooker once said, but that's not true. There are many lonely people in the world, and I'm singing for them. A good blues tells a good story, and I'm a good blues singer. Blues, as a musical form, can never die. It can't die because it really is the voice of the people.